I swear, Jenny is sitting there with all of these amazing oils, creating the best blends like a mad scientist, and she's like, the people are going to eat this up. Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. And as you see from the title above, we are going to do a Rose Girls haul. Rose Girls, Rose Girls, Rose Girls. Where do I start when I talk about Rose Girls? Well, we need to start with Jenny Oaks, the creator of Rose Girls Chunk Wax Melts. Rose Girls was created by Jenny Oaks, I believe, in... 97 or 98 I could be mistaken by that but I remember I thought she was like as old as I am uh, the company is Jenny's not um, but she created the original chunk wax melts so she was another OG original wax vendor from back in the day creating these amazing blends famous for her uh, awesome concoctions her really strong scented wax and back in the day eight month turnaround time yes Jenny when I remember when Rose Girls was in its prime vendor wax was just like a big thing and I mean, she had six to eight month turnaround times and you placed an order and you literally forgot about it. And when it came in, it was the best smelling wax you've ever smelled in your life. And to this day, Jenny's wax still is superior. She is a top vendor in the world. I feel like Jenny Oaks is an extremely well-respected vendor in the vendor wax world as well. She's located in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and she actually has a storefront too. If you look on her Instagram, which I'll link down below, the store is gorgeous. It's such a cute little store. I wish there was one of those here. Yeah, I mean, everything about Jenny is awesome. And like I said, she's famous for the original chunks. So putting wax, different colors, and adding scented chunks in there. But what Jenny also does well is these collections. So around the holidays, she does a Mario collection, and people go crazy for them. Yeah, Jenny is just an amazing person, and I used to order all the time, as you know. Got out of vendor wax, but I'm getting back into it full force and I knew I just missed her pre-order when I rejoined her Facebook group but she had a ready to ship for all the items from the pre-order so I picked up two samplers and a whole lot of chunk muffins so without further ado I think we're gonna change it up and I'm actually gonna start with the samplers. The way that Jenny's samplers works is a little different from some other vendors. They are mystery samplers. So for example, this guy right here was her coffee sampler. So there's approximately 24 ounces of chunk, um, chunk melts in here, and they are coffee related. Everybody's sampler, not everybody's sampler, but there are variations of the sampler. It all depends on what you get. So not everything is going to be the same if you order this. She just had a pre-order, I believe it's closed, for a Halloween um, sampler, which I'm super excited about. I did order two of those. But What's cool about her, too, is after she does the pre-orders, there's always a chance, most of the time, she will do a ready-to-ship because she does pour extras. So once that has been shipped out to everybody and everybody starts receiving it, she will put up whatever's left over, which I like. Because also, say you get a bunch of stuff and you're like, I really like this, I wish I ordered more. There's going to be a chance that you can. So... Anyway, the first scent in the coffee sampler is Oatmeal Cookie Latte. Now, I'm not going to pull out all the chunks because that would just be a long video and I have so many. But what her chunks look like essentially is one color wax and then these little mini chunks. They're actually called her mini melters. So she does offer typically all year long, every single day, but she's super popular and it's hard to keep up with the demand plus... A little thing called COVID and wax shortages and oil shortages but these are mini melters and she sells those year-round on her website where you can pop them in your warmer and they're not the cute chunks they're just simple little mini melters essentially and 
You can blend them, create your own scents, essentially, etc. But those are basically what the base are of the chunk muffins, or the chunks and the chunk muffins. But the first one, oatmeal cookie latte. Vendors are having this oatmeal oatmeal cookie oil, and I'm obsessed with it. Now, I will say, this does smell like an oatmeal cookie latte, like almost like a couple pumps of oatmeal cookie syrup blended with a super rich, decadent coffee scent. Now, I love coffee scents, that's why I was super excited for the sampler, but I like espresso even better. It's way more coffee, so some of these scents that have espresso in them, amazing. Next, we have Night Shift. Now, I'm not 100% sure what Night Shift is. I smell like a little bit maybe of chocolate and coffee. Like a really rich chocolate with just a hint of coffee. There's probably something else in there too, but I don't know off the top of my head. Another thing, as, I, as I'm smelling all these, I'm like coming up with all these things. Rose Girls Wax lasts forever. It's a strong thrower, doesn't need an insane amount of cure time. I let everything cure for a month, so I'll let these sit for a month. But you can have her stuff for two, three, four years, and it still performs amazing, so stock up. Roasted coffee bean ice cream, and it's like these blue chunks with yellow. Now, this is nice. Now, I definitely smell ice cream, like a creamy vanilla, and it's almost like the coffee beans are just like decorated on the top of the ice cream sundae so it's a very light coffee with that vanilla ice cream really nice i'm not going to go super in depth with these because i have a lot sugar cookie latte this is the only one yes i've smelled all these already that i'm not the biggest fan of the sugar cookie just doesn't smell like a like an authentic sugar cookie it almost smells like plasticky, dare I say, but like, I smell coffee, but I don't really smell sugar cookie. I, I'm not sure. Maybe this will change once it goes in the warmer, but for now, I, I'm not a fan of this one. That's the only one in the whole entire order that I'm not a fan of. Peppermint mocha cupcakes. So, peppermint and chocolate coffee with cupcake. And yes, that's exactly what this smells like. You get your chocolate, you get your coffee, a little bit of that sweet, rich vanilla bakery cupcakiness. Oh, so good. This I picture on like a really nice cold day. You're not leaving the house. You just want to smell super rich, decadent coffee all day. Pumpkin spice latte. I like a pumpkin spice latte. Just a little bit. If you're friends with the Omaha, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you know I like coffee or pumpkin spice lattes. Yep, exactly. A rich pumpkin spice latte. You get the nutmeg, the cinnamon, the ginger, the nutmeg, the cardamom, uh, whipped cream, a little bit of coffee. Yep, yeah, I definitely need this in a bigger size. Love me a pumpkin spice latte. Keep on digging. Ooh, love this one. Cider coffee cake. I mean, does that not sound incredible? Now, what's interesting, so when I hear coffee cake, I don't really think of coffee because a coffee cake really doesn't have coffee in it. It's just like a delicious cinnamon streusel cake. And that's what this smells like. I do get a hint of coffee, though. So maybe her coffee cake does have just a little bit of that coffee oil. And then... I would say it's like a baked apple, just in the background. It's not an apple forward scent. It's definitely more of that like cinnamony, strusely delicious cake. Somebody is riding their motorcycle all over my street. <laughs> Next, lattes with ghoul friends. Now I do know that the ghoul friend scent, because I did order it in chunks, is uh, pumpkin sugared donuts, cookies, Fluff Puffs, Vanilla Beano Elf, Vanilla Wafers, mixed with coffee. So it's like this super sweet, sugary, donut, bready, vanilla, all the carbs, all the deliciousness, mixed with coffee. And then, oh, nope, 
two more. Raspberry Mocha Rice Crispy Treats. Delish. So again, like, mocha is more like a chocolate coffee. And yes, it is. Oh my god. This is like heaven on earth. Like, there's literally nothing better than raspberry chocolate coffee. Rice crispy Treats. When I think of Rice crispy Treats, I think of just like a marshmallow treat. Like, well, that... <laughs> That is what it is. But it's not like it's a super strong, like, oil necessarily. I definitely feel like it's more a background type of scent. Like, it's a good blender. And then the last one in the coffee sampler I have is Star Beans Cafe Bread. I assume Star Beans is a mix for Starbucks, but... Oh, this is nice. This, I don't smell any coffee. I smell more of a creamy, buttery bread. So there has to be something sweet. Maybe more like a, a cinnamon bun with no cinnamon, like a, just like a really doughy bread. Because it's not savory like a fresh baked bread is. It's definitely more of a, oh, that's good. more of like a sweet bread. Delish. So, like I said, they came in this beautiful bag. Oh, as I, drop it all and oh, love I love all sorts of coffee scents so I knew when I saw the coffee sampler I had to have it totally different realm this is her clothes on the line sampler and clothes on the line is a super fresh her secret laundry blend so I like laundry scents they're not my favorite category but what I like about laundry is you're able to blend them or with other things and it's good to reset your nose I talked about before like I melt a lot of bakery so sometimes it's nice to get like a laundry scent to change up your nose a little bit trick it and be like oh that smells good it's a fresh good clean scent so that's mainly why I got the sampler to try out some different clean blends the first one I picked up is, well, in the sampler, is the Olive Branch Clothes on the Line. I love the Olive Branch. The Olive Branch is a lush scent. It was a shower gel. Before they reformulated it, it had like a, a layer of olive oil on the top, so you shook it. And whenever people smell it, they're like, oh, does it smell like olive oil? It doesn't. It smells like a little bit of like a sweet... I hate to say like a sweet olive scent, but that's kind of what it smells like. Like a sweet, more like earthy blend. It's really hard to describe. Like I think the olive branch is the hardest scent ever to describe. It's just sweet. And like when you smell it, you know what it is. And it mixed with like fresh laundry. It's really a cool, cool blend. Then we have Kissing by the Clothes on the line. Now, I'm not 100% as to what this is a blend of it smells like daisies like fresh cut daisies yankee candle had a scent called loves me loves me not the worst yankee candle i've ever smelled in my life i hated that scent but i do get a note of that daisy in here mixed with fresh laundry i will say this is not a favorite either like there's one from each sampler that i'm not crazy about and this is the other one. It's more like, it's definitely floral. So I don't know if it's Daisy, but I assume it is. But mixed with the laundry, it's not nearly as horrific as it could be. <laughs> coconut clothes on the line. I'm also not a big fan of coconut scent, but this scent, I don't know why I'm like stuffy all of a sudden. This is nice. This is it's more like a body care coconut instead of like a bakery coconut or like a super fruity summery coconut. It's more like a body care, which I like. And I will say it's much stronger than the laundry scent, which is interesting because typically laundry overpowers everything. That's another reason why I wanted to order this sampler because I wanted to see um, how how you can mix laundry. Nog Champa clothes on the line. Now, Nog Champa to me, all I can ever describe it as is hippie. It smells like a sweet hippie. I don't know what exactly Nog Champa is. If it is it like a spice? Is it like a 
I, I don't really know. But it does. It smells like a fresh hippie that just took a that just took a shower or just put on fresh clean clothes. It's it's crazy. And the colors are really fun though. Next, cotton candy clothes on the line, which I think is a pretty interesting scent to be honest because you got super sweet cotton candy and and laundry. You would never think to blend those two scents together. But it works. And again, you really pick up on the cotton candy more. So I, Jenny just, when she makes a blend, she really like creates the blend and isn't just like, yeah, cotton candy, we'll do 50-50. Like she really takes the time to see what different percentages work in the wax. And there's just the right amount of that fresh laundry mixed with the sweetness of the cotton candy. It's fantastic. Then we have Morning Sex clothes on the line, and her Morning Sex blend is a very clean spa-like scent. So mixed with clothes on the line, oh, it's so good. It's so good. This is, again, this is, of all of them, this is a, I just cleaned the entire house, and I want to pop something in my warmers that just makes the house smell fresh for as long as possible. That is it. And then we have Zen clothes on the line, which to me, I was like, well, what's the difference? Zen is Zen Swedish Dream Salt and clothes on the line. So it's like a Himalayan sea salt mixed with laundry. To me, this really just smells like laundry mellowed down. Like it's just like mixed with almost like fresh, clean water. I, I know it's not like water doesn't have a scent, but that's kind of what I get from it. Like a fresh water mixed with laundry. It's good. It's different. I, I'm excited to melt that one to see how it does. Fluffy towels on the line. So we have fluffy towels, which is super strong laundry mixed with super strong laundry. Now, this is interesting because it, to me, smells almost like the olive branch one. Like, it smells like that sweet olive branch and I don't know because fluffy towels to me is like a really strong fabric softener but I get some sweetness from that and then we have salty sea air summer breeze clothes on the line and I believe summer breeze is like a laundry scent as well so yeah all right now we're gonna go on a little story here so salty sea air summer breeze clothes on the line. This smells like you are doing your laundry, you hung it to dry, but you live in a beach house because you have that saltiness from the freshness of the air blowing in the warm breeze with the sun beating on your clothes, like sun bleaching. It's amazing how that's captured in a scent. Like, as, as soon as I smell that, I immediately am like, this smells like Grace and Frankie are doing their laundry in their backyard. And it's hanging to dry. Crazy. And then the last one from the sampler is Satsuma clothes on the line. If you're familiar with Satsuma, it is a body shop scent. It's like a really warm orange. Oh, it's so good. You get that like blood orange zestiness. And that way overpowers clothes on the line for sure. Like, I don't even smell any laundry in this. I really just smell that Satsuma, which is not a bad thing at all. So that was the clothes on the line sampler. I know I went kind of quickly on those. It's just, I now have like 25 muffins to get through. And I do not want to make this video an hour long, even though... It probably will, but those were the coffee sampler and the clothes on the line sampler. Now let's get into the muffins. All right, now there are multiples of some of these in here because I automatically knew I was going to like them. So chunk muffins, whenever you talk about them, I'll pull one out to show you. She basically takes a muffin mold like this and then she fills it with wax and then puts, typically it's about four mini melters. Now. I would get four melts out of this. How you can do that is either chop it, but Jenny's trick is you actually just take a fork, stick it in the middle, and it will break open. 
perfect for you every single time. So I like these. I have four big full-size warmers throughout my apartment, so I will break this and pop them in there, get a whole entire day's worth of scent. Now this one, I got four of. Dutch apple pecan French toast. And I will say on the muffins or any of the full sizes, you do get scent descriptions. So this one says warm Dutch apple pie, pecans, and French toast. Oh my gosh. Yes. Like, heaven. It smells so good. Oh, and there's another mini melter on the bottom as well. It's like a baked apple, like a really good baked apple, like a Macintosh apple. No cinnamon, really. You get pecans, like a nutty, toasty scent. And then a little bit of like a bakery, French toasty type of smell. So good. So I got one, two, three, and I believe there's four in here. Yep, four. I got four of the Dutch apple pecan French toast because I knew I was going to love it. I also got four of this one because I knew I was going to love it. And I actually remember this scent from back in the day. I don't remember ordering like exactly what it smelled like. But from the scents that I like, I knew I was going to love it. And it is a circus concession. Macintosh Madness, ooey gooey caramel, coconut, coconut, cotton candy frosting, and funnel cake. I love apple scents. I love a Macintosh apple scent especially when it's forward in a scent with the other notes blended with it. So this is like a candy apple at the fair. You pick up on cotton candy, that really sweet, cavity-inducing cotton candy. You get a little bit of that uh, ooey-gooey caramel to really sweeten it up with the butteriness. And then that yeasty funnel cake. I mean... Oh, it is so good. I mean, this is a scent that you can melt all year long, too. I mean, all year long. So I have one, two, they're in here somewhere. I don't know. I definitely have more than that. I have four, so I'll have to, I'll have to find them. The next one I have is Fierce Morning Sex. I do only have one of these. Now this is a really fresh scent. So it is a blend of Fierce, which is the Abercrombie scent, mixed with her Morning Sex, which is like that fresh spa. Now what's interesting, when you think of the Abercrombie scent, it's like knock your socks off, super strong, super powerful. The Morning Sex takes that Abercrombie and tones it down, almost like what it really should be as a cologne. Oh, it's yummy. It's really good. I really like her Morning Sex Blend. I definitely want to try it on its own when it's offered because I think it's a scent that would be a really good bathroom scent. Now, pretty much the reason why I placed this order was because of this one. Carbs with Ghoul Friends. Look at this black muffin with orange, purple, and green mini melters. Carbs with Ghoul Friends and a little bit of green in the bottom is pumpkin sugared donuts, cookies, bread, fluff puffs, vanilla bean noel, and Nella wafers. The ultimate bakery scent for fall. Like, this is going to be my Halloween fragrance. I already know what I mean. Look at it. It's beautiful. But you pick up on everything. You pick up on this really yeasty, bready note. You pick up on that sweetness of the vanilla bean Noel. And the pumpkin donuts. It's like those donuts that you get at this grocery store in a big box that are just, you know, a million calories. And... Whoops, two, three, one more, nope, I have three cars with ghoul friends, um, and it's just so good, like, those donuts you know are so bad for you, but you just keep eating them because they taste so good. Next, we have another fresh set, and it's called Don't Kale, My Zen Vibe, Grass, Cannabis Flower, Coastal Kale, and Zen. I'm going to be in the minority on this one. 
Oh, I do not like it. It smells like a salad. I, I, I don't like it. And I do like fresh scents, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not this huge fresh scent connoisseur like some people, Danny. Um, but, yeah. No, it smells like a salad. Oh, I don't know why. I mean, I wanted to try it. Not a fan. <laughs> Strawberry Slurp. Strawberry Jam Cereal Killer Sugar Milk and Rice Krispie Treats. Now, in... In the past, I've been known to not like sugar milk because it comes off as sour to my nose, but I love strawberry jam. I love, like, a fruity cereal set. And I'm happy to report I don't get that sour milk. I hope I don't get it um, when it comes, when it warms, but... Ugh. It's so good. That strawberry jam, it's so, like, lick the air good, mixed with the fruity cereal. I mean, you can't go wrong. Oh, my God, I have so many melts. <laughs> we have Fireside Cookies with Cream Cheese Frosting. I believe I have two of these as well. Yes, two of these. Marshmallow Fireside Warm Cookies and Cream Cheese Frosting. Someone say yum. It's good. Marshmallow Fireside, to be honest, is not the main scent in this like I thought it would be. It's honestly more warm cookies and cream cheese frosting. And the cream cheese frosting is not overpowering. It's way more, like, sweet and decadent. And the Marshmallow Fireside is that gooey, smoldering woods marshmallow with the best fresh from the oven cookie scent you could ever want. Next, oh my lord. Oh, here's another circus concession. And another circus concession. I found my four. Next, we will talk about making bread in cookie land. I have two of these. And this is fresh baked bread, baked zucchini bread, cookies, donuts, and toffee butterscotch pretzels. So cookie land is like a toffee butterscotch pretzels, cookies and donuts. So that's that set mixed with fresh baked bread and zucchini bread. Now, smelling this at first, I really get fresh baked bread. And this is like a crusty, savory French baguette. I don't get much zucchini bread. I mainly get the fresh baked bread and the toffee butterscotch pretzels, which I am happy to report that Rose Girl's pretzel is a pretzel I like, like a salty, hard pretzel, and not a really um, yeasty, soft pretzel. Next, I also have two of this one, and this is blueberry vanilla sugar bread. I'm also a sucker for blueberry scents, any kind. And this one is blueberry cobbler, brown sugar, vanilla bean noel baked zucchini bread. So good. To me, this just smells like a really decadent blueberry cobbler. Like, those blueberries that are so juicy, whenever you bite them, it just, like, shoots across the room because they just, pew, so juicy. Oh, mixed with a really decadent, like, bready note. I love all these bread scents. Mm. Okay. Now, this is interesting. Most people tend to think about, like, lavender scents for sleep. I love bakery scents for sleep. Because it just... Now I don't wake up in the middle of the night and eat apple pie. Well, I did last night, but that, that's, that's beside the point. It just makes me feel so comforted whenever I go to sleep. And I love that. The next one we have is Sweet Pumpkin Pie Cider Lane Marshmallow Smoothie. I talked about before, Cider Lane is my kryptonite. I love that scent. So mixed with pumpkin pie and marshmallow smoothie. Again, marshmallow smoothie to me is more of a blender scent. It just makes things more sweet and more creamy. And the pumpkin pie is like that decadent, nutmeggy, cinnamon, pumpkin scent. But Cider Lane is more forward in this than the others, which I'm super happy about. Then we have Lover, which is all-nighter and stainless steel. I still have yet to try stainless steel on its own. I do plan on, next time stainless steel is offered by itself, ordering it because I definitely want to try it. Mixed with all-nighter, I'm not sure that must be a cologne scent because this, to me, 
just smells like a very, very watery cologne. Like a very aquatic. I like this. I think it'll be a really good bathroom fragrance. I do like those like masculine cologne scents in the bathroom. They're just, you know, really fresh and clean. It smells like a sexy man just left your bathroom even though nobody leaves my bathroom but me. <laughs> And then the last muffin is Lambo Leap, which I was also very excited to order because it is Cider Lame, Sweater Weather, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Now, Sweater Weather is another one of those really indescribable fragrances. It's like eucalyptus, juniper berries, fresh air. Like, it's a very sweet, fresh, clean, crisp, but it has, like... It just smells comforting and cozy. And mixed with Cider Lame, this is a scent where you get 50-50. Well, there's Vanilla Bean Noel, so 40-40-20. Um, it's so good. The Cider Lame is definitely prominent. And then the more you smell it, the more you pick up on the Cider Lame. Yeah, it, it's so good. You, you can't go wrong with Lambo Leap. And then, the last, but certainly not least, is my free sample, which were two chunks in Salted Caramel Latte Cookie Land. So, it could be definitely part of a coffee sampler, but it's to die for. It's like a rich, creamy caramel, a touch of salt, just a touch, not overly salty. So, if you're not like a salty person, you'd like the Salted Caramel Latte Cookie Land. And that toffee butterscotch pretzels, I need to smell that note on its own because I'm loving it in the cookie land sense. Well, that was a long video. I'm going to take something for my nose. I'm like smelling so many things, I think. But I love Rose Girls. I'm going to link a video that I made from them years ago just to see like how much they've grown as a company since then and still going strong. I'm so excited for my Halloween pre-order, which should be coming mid-September. Always fun to wait. I have three pre-orders that are one shipped, one is going to ship next week, and one is going to ship in a couple weeks. So I have a lot of wax coming for you guys to talk to me about for me to talk to you about, for you guys to enjoy, and hopefully get your hands on some as well. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!